Uh, yeah, my speaking skills in Estonia are still not really good, so I'm speaking in English. I hope that's okay for you. Um, I just really recently moved um, to, uh, from Berlin to Tallinn in order to create a co working space in the heart of the city. When I'm telling my story, I'm usually asked two questions What is co working and why the hell did you come to Tallinn? Let me explain co working first before turning to the more easy second question. By the way, I have not yet uh, to this, uh, cover a good translation in Estonian. So ideas are appreciated. In 2005, a guy called uh, Brad Neuberg used this word to describe his current situation. Brad is the co-founder of Citizen Space in San Francisco, one of the most famous places of the sort. Basically, co-working is a style of work in the shared working environment. But unlike a typical office, uh, people that work there, they are usually from one company or one organization. Usually, they come from very diverse professional backgrounds. However, what unites them is that they are oftentimes working in very in social isolation. That is, for example, work at home professionals, independent freelancers and frequent travelers, but also academics, artists and project managers. In Business Newspeak, those people are called members of the creative industries, creative class or just creatives. Walking around the city, you can see people like this in cafes, in restaurants, or, uh, in libraries, or in lobbies. They're fixed on their laptop screens, or they're immersed in professional conversations. But more and more, those people are drawn to spaces where they can actually find this kind of atmosphere that they had in these different spaces, united in one space. Uh, apart from the sort of abstract references I'm giving uh, from Wikipedia, which I use here, um, a very real place where you can see and feel this uh, kind of atmosphere is the Beta House in Berlin. Many of the ideas and influences I found during visits and talks there, including my thesis interviews. The Beta House combines a, con a concentrated working environment, space for private meetings, a cafeteria, a collection of event spaces, and the hands-on maker space called the Open Design City on the one roof. So a typical day could look like this. Promoting shortways, Beta House is located on the crossing of public and transportation lines. Most users actually live, live nearby so they walk or come by bike. You enter to the cafe where you can get a quick breakfast, talk with fellows about their work, or chat with the staff about the events of the week. Or you just have your morning reading. When you want to get things done, you change the focus work areas. Here, people's heads are smoking. Some get headphones on, others have chats and low voice. There, but there's a general working vibe. Worked enough? Then you go to the nearby Imbis or check out the lunch service. Later that day, there's an exhibition opening in the upper floor, and with some hackers, you do a workshop in the, in the makerspace. So the answer to what is co-working can be for now the social gathering of a group of people who are working independently, but who share values. Those people are interested in the synergy that comes from working with talents in the same space. Now, let's look at the more easy question. Why the hell did you come to Tallinn? And with this, uh, I also want to come closer to the topic of this night. Obviously, I'm not from anywhere close to Tallinn. To make matters worse, during the last five years, I lived in Berlin, which is said to be the most exciting city to live in these days. So why change from globally exciting place to, ah, the Tallinn is somewhere east, isn't it? Uh, let's try like this. Apparently, I'm a studied urbanist. I haven't gotten my head around that uh, yet, but well, it sounds fancy for now. What I did during my life is traveling to living in and studying in cities. Not so many in the end, but I've seen places in Europe, the Middle East, Western Central Africa, and the Northern Americas. Tallinn for many is a blank space. As an outsider, you might have heard of its image as a tourist magnet, or you have the other things in mind. Internet access everywhere, marriage market, easy business. What has been more interesting to me while I was here studying uh, is the group of extremely active and ambitious people uh, in business, NGO sector, and cultural uh, activities alike. I met and discussed with people from Linda Labor, B210, Koduri Cartel, Hobby Labor, Project Space Mats, Uis Malin, real estate investors, academics, and a multitude of other backgrounds, startups, students, residents, experts. I realized there are so many ideas out there, but free space is rare. I've seen working environments in different places, and I've seen community hangouts. What usually strikes me the most is that how separate those places are. You go to work into an office or a factory or workshop during one strange and fixed part of the day, and then you work, uh, when you're finished with that, 
you go another space to hang out with your friends in the leisure time. Why, put, why not put these things together? My vision for Tallinn, and I'm unfortunately not alone with this, are more places where work and life go hand in hand. A place where you can work to earn your living, but also breed new ideas and instantly share them with like-minded people. A place that makes it easy for you to structure your daily schedule, but gives you enough freedom to take a break. A place where the atmosphere invites you to hang out, no matter if you reach for world domination with your new startup, or if you do just your day-to-day -day work in an inspiring atmosphere. You want to present and discuss your research, tinker with hardware, build a model, hold workshops or a seminar, it's all possible here. In our vision, these places are not separate anymore. Until now, you are some, there are some places that call themselves incubators, like the ones from ASR, like Kirkby Business Incubator, Ulemist Business Incubator, Tallinn Creative Incubator. Maybe you find some space in Technopol or here in Tiliskili. But those are essentially real estate developments. However, there's a really nice community growing around the Garage 48 Hub already. They are even internationally regarded as a space for technology startups with global aspirations. However, for Tallinn, our concept uh, is the most radical in terms of, put, uh, putting, uh, of uniting working space and community space. Putting it all together, the idea of co-working in Tallinn is not so far-fetched. Certainly, the hip concept comes from illustrious places like San Francisco, New York and Berlin. But really, isn't it high time to put away with the constant drive of the cynical competition that our postmodern life asks of us? The mantra of being the first, best, strongest, doing successful business at all costs? We believe that we are now here in Tallinn at a time of evaluation and refocusing, and some common sense ideas of living and working together. The goal is not to leave everybody behind. It should be to come together in inspiring places and to create new projects and ideas for the ultimately a better life. Co-working spaces in cities like Tallinn are one choice to do these great things and I'm very happy to take this chance. Thank you.